day, everybody. We're Keenum Handicapping here at Red Racing. It's my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grandville, Pennsylvania, on Friday evening, February the 10th. And this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 7 tonight, folks. 8.29 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Four-year-olds and up race for a claiming prize of some $21,000. Contenders number two, Red Pete. Number seven, D Wild Affair. Number five, Because, Because, and number three, Norjack. Number two, Red Pete has turned in power run performances in each of his last five starts, hitting the board in three of those outings, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Katie Lee was in his irons for that last win 44 days ago here at Penn National. She produced a positive 360% return on investment in the process. Miss Lee is back tonight for her second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number 7, DeWild Affair, a 4-1 to shot, decent early speed for this sprint. Comes off back-to-back -back power run wins in his last two starts. Race 7 summary, number 2, Red Pete, tops the contenders list tonight, which also includes number 7, D Wild Affair, number 5, Because, Because, and number 3, Norjack, 2753 in the 7th from Penn National. Bonus long shots, let's stay right here at Penn Nat. Race 2, number 2, Born to Cuss, 4-1 to on the morning line, has hit the board in power run fashion at 4 of his last 5 starts, including power run wins in both his Second and fourth races back, which of course is indicative of a bounce pattern, folks. And the bounce will be up positive tonight if this pattern continues. Charlestown, race seven, number three, Ravine Song, a four to one shot, drops in class, has hit the board in power run fashion in two of his last four, including a power run win in his second race back. So from Penn National, on a Friday night, fifteen four, day at the track.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.